Hey, good morning or good afternoon, everyone. And today's a uh, very beautiful day. I'm here to share with you another video on uh, trading and especially for day traders. So if you heard of squeeze or short squeeze, and uh, today's video is going to be regarding short squeeze and how to find them. So, uh, simply with all free tools available to us, we can go to Finviz as we are in the page now. By looking at the page, I'm just going to refresh it. As you see, the market was pretty much green all day except Google because of the uh, OpenAI news. But I don't think that news was very significant. But it's good to know what's going on in the market but the purpose of the video is nothing to do with google but i just want to share with you how to find uh the stock that is about to get short a squeeze and how to find them how to identify and how to trade them so going to finbiz uh, we are going to go to screen or screener sorry screener and by clicking on the screener it's pretty much the scanner for finviz and i'm gonna click on all here and this is where all the magic happens so let me just go here and remove myself from the page so you can see so uh that's what we are gonna look for and this is all the filter available to us so depending on what market we're not gonna change anything in the market exchange we just wanna go to a uh, filter so we are looking for the stocks or ticker that has a plus volume over the relative volume or basically over one volume this is what we go here relative volume we want to make sure that their volume is it's good for trading or in other words they are liquid so we choose a relative volume over one and there's not much filter that i want to play around but you feel free if you want to play based on your own criteria but the main port main keywords or key is float short which is right here float short or percentage of float we're gonna go over the max unfortunately finv is only showing 30 percent if it was 40 it would be preferred but let's do 30 percent and we're gonna narrow it down based on also we want to average volume as i said volume is the key we don't want to trade stocks that has no volume we want to go the relative or average uh, average volume to be over 500k so we know it's uh, liquid <clears throat> as you can see we have here eight uh, result which is pretty good but looking at those results, we also want to see if they are, you have to be aware of uh, some countries and the stocks that uh, tend to do um, pump and dump, and most of them are from not US. So if you look at the countries here, we know US, they're all US, but 
this one here, MLGO, as Chinese, which is why you don't want to touch it unless you put the stop. So this ticket that was running not long ago was running really uh, significantly just I remember a few weeks ago this is the chart and by this S here we know this stock tend to do reverse split and play the market as a pump and dump this is their goal this is always how they play so when you see the ticker that has S on it which is sign or symbol of reverse split you want to be aware of they are not really meant for they're not meant for investment is only for trading and the only trade is either on the support or breakout so this is one of them let's go to the chart of MLGO as you can see MLGO had been since this split up here on split date is on March 22nd just this year 2024 it's been going down until the maybe news came out or maybe uh, what date was it June Monday June 3rd yeah Monday June 3rd so let's go see what happened in Monday June 3rd so this oh here june 4th five investor bidding on mlgo struck q1 it went up 661 percent and let's dig in again mlgo stocks unusual gain are similar to the previous spark of hkd which we know hkd what happened right so this mlgo obviously was pumped by this news how significant was news five investor bidding big on mlgo stock in q1 institutional ownership is important as this large investor provide liquidity support of stock however <clears throat> mlg institutional ownership is almost non-existent so a scam so this is to me it's pretty much pump and dump they just pump it up with this news and most likely they waited until a stock goes to <laughs> this area which is the same date went up to here to $15 and change and came down to $3 and it went up to $25 imagine if you shorted here or they shorted here they'd be laughing now and now it's back to where it started so one thing to play the low of this stock was almost dollar 54 so what you can do if you want to play this ticker you can come to dollar or previous or lowest price put maybe dollar 55 to buy and go long and put 10 cent 5 cent stop if that stock is going to react again it should move from here otherwise it's a dump so going back to the next one so that was a Chinese one right again we are on a scanner and we looked it up by this criteria you can always go and use the RSI and see if it's RSI oversold for the RSI MLG is one of them still is oversold and you can try 30 RSI nothing so still MLGO is the first player and of course 10 is not going to be anything so the 40 so it's oversold I would play this if you really want to play squeeze otherwise stick to the other one so Seva it's one of them which is uh, healthcare biotechnology and 
what do we know about this guys so if you want to play the average volume I want to also make sure this this is stock or ticker we are looking at has a good volume for the past uh, I would say a few days so what we can do is just check the volume or if you want to get rid of the one that is known non US you can choose here country only US comes out and one more thing I would like to do here it's the float let's see if we can find a float under 10 million none under 20 million so these are the next to the next to the list for having a shorter squeeze as you can see in the volume section uh, ACDC has only 961 volume today or the day of trading today is actually a uh, weekend and RILY also had 1.2 and of course space we all know uh, SBCE that's also unfortunately in the downtrend but let's see what is it acting now what the chart is telling us yeah this is almost going to really lowest possible ever been but that's been also split to 120 but I don't consider this really a bad or pump and dump they just have to um, they just have to obey the Nasdaq policy which your stock shouldn't be on below one dollar so that's why they did the reverse split and their float short float is here 31 percent which is also anything above 30 percent is in the squeeze uh, criteria and the uh, RILY this one chart started moving actually that's not a bad that's not a bad chart but I'm looking at 1886 would be the it's not much 30 percent 30 cent to go but you can see that going to 20 or 1886 this one also gives a dividend and let's see the float short float is 73 this is really squeezing so if you see that thing is going above 40 that's it's about to squeeze big time so I'm going to watch this and see the only thing is sharing the float is 15% uh, 15 million still uh, it's got a lot of uh, float we want it under 10 but this is also good to watch for breakout or maybe consolidation for for a few days but yeah I would look at between 18 or 19 to 16 or 17 area my stop would be anything below 15 if you want to play this in a short time I would give it a week or a swing and I think this has got the potential to go to 20 so dollar move so you can watch this hopefully that gives you some idea but as I said if you don't uh, if you don't have a plan for trade you can look up this one this uh, eight stocks is probably time to get a squeeze and this is Saba also Saba played around Saba actually it's been going down for months since COVID used to be hundred forty dollar now it's in a very good area that would be a good stock also to watch 
I tried this before and now it's trying to fill the gap and I think it's got the room to go around $18 or $17 $18 would be a good room so it's down it's trying to uptrend and I would play this also $1 for $1 move around $15 to $17 I think it's got the room so I'm going to be watching in this this is stocks for the next week so maybe we can get the good play and watch for the news most likely a stock that is in the shorter squids uh, criteria or level they will be releasing some news to boost that uh, squeeze as you can see they have been uh, moving up most of them especially Sava is for 17 percent up for this last day or two so definitely watch Sava and SPCE 10 percent and RILY which is also a very good uh, and the market cap as you can see the market cap it's very important to look for all of them in a good market cap anything above 500 million are potentially a good company to watch without worrying about pumping and dumping but as you can see let's go to VL MLGO MLGO market cap is 12 million basically it's nothing so definitely this is Tom pump and dump it's only gonna be the trade if if it stays above 150 if it doesn't don't play it so that was the video today and I hope you guys enjoyed it if you have any question comment let me know I would appreciate if you give a like and thumbs up to this video as well as subscribe if you are looking for a trade video and as well as trading tips we have a team and a group that we are trading every day if you are interested let me know I can share with you the uh, group and we can also join us for uh, trading alert and trading uh, training so I hope you enjoyed it and until next video cheers